In this video, we will discuss treatment of ischemic stroke. Treatment generally, it's medical support, thrombolysis, antiplatelet agents, anticoagulants, and neuroprotection. Treatment of cerebral edema. 5 to 10 percent of the patients develop cerebral edema, mannitol, and osmotic diuretic to reduce cerebral edema. Number two, water restriction, but hypovolemia should be prevented by giving isotonic fluid because hypovolemia may worsen infarction. Craniotomy markedly reduces the mortality. Increased intracranial pressure causes brain stem compression, requires emergency surgical decompression. Treatment of the blood pressure. Blood pressure should not be lowered precipitously. Why? Because lowering the blood pressure would precipitate ischemia. When should blood pressure be lowered in ischemic stroke? The blood pressure should be lowered in ischemic stroke in myocardial ischemia to reduce the workload in malignant hypertension or if blood pressure is more than 185 by 110 and thrombolytic therapy is needed. Which medication is preferred to stabilize heart rate and decrease blood pressure in a stroke? Beta 1 adrenergic blocker for example asmolol the antiplatelet agents aspirin is the only antiplatelet agent that is effective in the treatment of acute ischemic stroke. Use of aspirin within 48 hours of the onset of a stroke reduces stroke recurrence risk and mortality. So how does aspirin act? What's the mechanism of action? Aspirin inhibits the formation of thromboxane A2 and thromboxane A2 aggregates platelets and causes vasoconstriction. So it's a platelet aggregator and vasoconstrictor, the thromboxane A2 and aspirin inhibits it. How does it inhibit thromboxane A2? Aspirin inhibits cyclooxygenase enzyme which is required for the formation of thromboxane A2. Aspirin temporarily also inhibits prostacycline which is anti-aggregating and vessel dilator but this effect is only temporary. Recombinant tissue plasminogen activator is for ischemic stroke and the contraindications to the tissue plasminogen activators are head injury in the past three months, GI bleeding in the past three weeks, recent MI, coma or stupor, or platelet count of less than 100,000, hematocrit less than 25%, or a glucose less than 50 or more than 400 milligram per 100 ml. Endovascular techniques. A large clot in a major vessel like middle cerebral artery, internal carotid artery or basilar artery cannot be removed by IV recombinant tissue plasminogen activators alone. Intra-arterial injection of recombinant tissue plasminogen activator pro-urokinase given in a major cerebral artery, internal carotid artery, middle cerebral or basilar within six hours of the onset of a stroke dissolves the clot. This is not approved in USA. Number two, endovascular mechanical thrombectomy. The endovascular mechanical thrombectomy restores the potency of blood vessel in 50 to 60 percent of patients if done in eight hour of onset of a stroke. Intravascular revascularization is FDA approved if done within eight hours of a stroke. It can be done even if the patient received prior RTPA therapy.